Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday night and I'm sitting down to top up my reusable sticker book and I thought that I would film it because I do get questions on this sticker book a lot and my intention for this video was for it to be a really chill video where we can kind of hang out. I have a little vodka tonic here so grab a drink yourself and let's catch up and hang out and talk stickers. So I've spoken about this briefly in my 2019 Planner Favorites video. And basically this is a reusable sticker book from Van Sticky. It's super cute and I house a bunch of stickers in here. It's pretty haphazardly put together. It's loosely organized. So basically in the front I have leftover stickers from kits sorted out by color and then towards the middle which is the part that i'll be working on today is all of my character stickers as you can see it's pretty empty it needs refilling and then towards the end i have leftover stickers from kits that have like patterns on it and then i have organized here any leftover stickers from samplers or icons from kits that i want to use but I don't want to keep the entire sheet. So that's a really brief overview of what this sticker book encompasses. So I've pulled out all of my character sticker books here. So basically I like this method because as you can see I have a lot of sticker books and when I'm planning normally I would have to go in and reach through each sticker book if I want like a particular character from a particular shop and as you can imagine it gets really time consuming. I'm going to start putting down stickers while I talk. But also it takes up a lot of space on my desk if I want to have it within easy reaching distance. So with this method I can better kind of organize my stickers. I can go through a bunch of different characters. Honestly I haven't been drinking that much coffee lately. I have been drinking coffee, but I've had some problems with my heart that my doctor says might be anxiety induced. I went to get an EKG and I went to get some blood work done and all looks good. So who knows, but she recommended that I not have as many stimulants. So I've been drinking a lot of decaf and even some days not drinking any coffee, which if you know me, that's like that's a pretty big deal because I really love coffee. I don't really mind having decaf so much, but it was really stressful for a while not knowing what was wrong with me and I still kind of don't know what's wrong with me. Oh my gosh, haven't used these in so long. I really want to bring back some of my favorite coffee stickers, iced coffee stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. because now that we're in summer, I've been drinking a lot of... I've been drinking primarily iced coffee, actually. So... Sorry if you can hear any squeaking. Somebody's... Somebody... <laughs> somebody in my house has some squeaky doors next door, so... I kind of just put them wherever it fits. It's not super organized or anything. All right, and I think I want to bring back some Coffee Monday tech stickers from C. Amy Draw. This has been a total mood lately, but because I'm trying to cut back on how much coffee I drink, it's like, even though I want more coffee, I have to restrain myself, which kind of sucks. All right, I think that's good for the coffee. So coffee's my first section. My next section is work-related stickers. So basically laptops, working girls, anything like that. And since I'm here, I'm going to start with Lola. Oh man, I need to restock on my Lola's. I only have one laptop girl from Lola left or one laptop Lola left. I need to restock on that. The thing with work stickers is like, I like to use, this is so satisfying. I like to use the same work sticker for the entire week. So I kind of try to do them in sets of five. So this I would probably use for like editing or something if I have a big editing day because, or unless I work only one day a week, which isn't happening anytime soon. So I should probably put that elsewhere. I do have another section for like 
my voice just cracked, sorry. I do have another section for like YouTube stuff, so I think I might put that here instead. All right, back to work. Oh, these are perfect. I just got these in from Once More With Love and they were in my latest haul, so go check that out if you haven't already. I'll have it linked in a card. But these are so perfect for remote work because we use Zoom at work and actually my company is was a remote company to begin with, so I did a lot of Zoom. I do a lot of Zoom regardless of whether we're in a pandemic or not. I'm gonna do, I usually do like five and stop and go move to another sticker book just so I can get more variety, but considering the times, I'm gonna do 10. And then these are really cute as well. I wonder if I'll have a kit where I have all of these colors. I have exactly five left on this sheet, so that's perfect for a work week. Seriously, so satisfying. Oh my gosh, these pastel girls from Fox and Cactus are my absolute favorite. I think it's like around Black Friday or something where she brings these back from the vault. She calls it the vault because they're a limited edition and I can't wait for that because I'm totally gonna stock up. I'm putting down more of the summery colors right now because since we're in summer, I feel like we would, I would use those up the most. Hopefully I have a kit that encompasses this color scheme. That's the only kind of tricky thing with putting the stickers in a sticker book like this is if there's a really particular color scheme for a kit, I maybe wouldn't like gravitate towards character stickers that don't match or have like a variety, of, variety excuse me, of colors like this. I'd probably go for maybe like a foiled version, like a foiled laptop or something. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the work section. And the next section I have is my exercise section. So normally I have a combination of yoga, weight training, you know, dumbbell stickers. Obviously I haven't been able to use these barbell ones because I haven't been going to the gym, it's closed. And I don't even think I would go even if it were open because you can imagine all the germs that fester on all those different apparatuses or whatever you call them. So that's gonna stay there for a while, but I still do practice yoga. I actually haven't worked out at all this week. I have been not feeling it, honestly, and I think right now it's a good time to, or I guess not, I don't know if it's a good time, but it's an okay time to just sit back a little and rest and not push myself so hard. So that's something I'm kind of letting myself be okay with because I was doing a pretty intense running build for a while and then all that stuff with my heart happened. It was actually going on for a while and it got really bad at one point and I decided, okay, it's okay to just cut back a little and rest. So that's what I did and hopefully I'll find a better balance. Again, so satisfying. One of the best things about topping up the sticker book is using up all these sticker sheets. I guess technically I'm not using them up, I'm just putting them in a different place, but still. Again, my favorite pastel girls from Fox and Cactus. I love these so much. Honestly, the way that I'm doing this is not the most efficient way. What would be more efficient is going through one sticker book at a time and topping off all the sections while I'm going through that sticker book, but it's okay, I don't really mind taking extra time because I like looking at all of my stickers and honestly, I have nothing better to do. I mean, not that I have nothing better to do, but there's nothing I would rather be doing more than this right now, so I don't really mind. And am I out of Banana Doodle Shop working out girls? Oh, I just completely missed it. It was just in the front. By the way, Banana Doodle Shop has rebranded her Shop is now Caffeine and Paper Co, I believe. I've been doing more resistance band work lately since I don't have any weights, which is kind of cool because it's like a new way of working out. And I'll have my resistance bands linked in the description. I got them from Amazon. They come in like really pretty colors and there's like light, medium, heavy, extra heavy, so on and so forth. So depending on what body part or how strong you want, 
the resistance to be, you can adjust accordingly. Yeah, this is basically me with my resistance bands, but I have a bunch of those already, so. Oh, crunch time. Do that Chloe Ting workout, which I haven't exactly been like doing the Chloe Ting workout anymore, but I have been incorporating all the exercises that I learned from her challenge into any ab work or core work that I do, which is really nice. All right, so that's it for the workout section. And I do have some empty space here, but I guess I'm having a shortage of workout stickers. So I don't know, actually I don't even know what else would fit there. So I'm gonna leave that. Moving on to the next section, this is any groceries or cooking. And then simultaneously, I guess these two can be connected. So this is like food, beer, wine, etc., And then it kind of goes on to here because I have so many different types of food and wine stickers. And this is more like cooking, meal prep, and groceries. So while I'm still at Once More With Love, I will start out with some cooking munchkins and some grocery munchkins. Obviously, I haven't been going out to any restaurants, but we have been having a lot of takeout, which is nice. So we can support some local businesses as well as have some good food to eat still. Let's see, I'm just gonna put a couple of cooking munchkins down. I haven't been cooking that much. If I have, it's been making like really simple stuff like slaw or like scrambled eggs with oatmeal, like really simple stuff. But I did just get some fettuccine alfredo pasta sauce because again, really simple, but for some reason I've been craving fettuccine alfredo, which is super weird. So I did get these mass stickers recently in my latest haul from Once More With Love and I want to use that to mark or I want to put that here because I want to use it for marking getting groceries because that's basically the only time I ever go out and I wear a mask when I do that. By the way, where have you guys been getting your face masks from? I have some from Groceries Apparel, which is this brand based out of LA. They have like really nice clothes. Some of my favorite, I think my favorite crop top is from them and yeah, they just make really nice, like, recycled organic cotton. And everything is sustainable, made in LA, and they've made some really cool face masks. Not cool, but just, like, I think they're pretty chic face masks. So I have bought several from them. The only thing is that they're, they wrap around the head instead of around the ears, so I only basically wear them out when my hair is up. But my hair is up a lot, so... That's fine. I also have some from a brand called Jono. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it was a brand that my sister recommended and my sister's a nurse. And I think her hospital was either recommending it or giving them out to the nurses there, not for medical use, obviously just for personal use. And she bought a bunch for us and those are really nice too. And they wrap around the ear, which is cool because I can wear them when my hair isn't up. I'll have them linked in the description bar below in case you want to check them out. I saw, like, as far as planner shops go, I saw Pigtails and Pockets came out with some really cute face masks. All right, so that's it for the food section. Oh, I have a bit of empty space here. I really missed using the flat lays from Toffee Bananas. No, Paper Shire. I was going to say Paper Shire, but then I was like, oh, wait, she changed her name. And I actually got it mixed up. Yeah, these sushi ones are really cute. Although, we haven't really been going out for dim sum or sushi. Sometimes we get takeout, though. Like dim sum and sushi takeout or delivery. So, I might put one or two there. So that I can use it for that. These are so cute. I totally miss going out with friends and catching up over, like, dinner and drinks. But hopefully... Hopefully soon we'll be able to do that. All right, moving on. So the next sections are shopping up here, beauty down here, and then this is all self-care. So like reading, me time, baths, stuff like that. I have been doing quite a bit of shopping lately. Before it was like, I don't even know what I was buying, but I've been doing a lot of sticker shopping lately, which has been really fun. So you can 
look forward to more hauls coming soon. Let me know what your favorite shops are down below, especially some shops that you haven't seen me use yet because I am planning a video, a haul where I show and purchase from shops that I've never tried before. So I'm really excited for that one. I've already started like collecting stuff for that haul. So that should be coming soon. So that's it for this section. Moving on to the next one. This one is like planning and YouTube and all of that. And then this one is cleaning and I guess a little bit of like getting sick driving that's kind of random i kind of feel like driving is a sort of a chore sometimes so that's why i have those here especially like the tired girls and then this was for going to the chiropractor when i did go but now obviously that's not happening so this is mostly cleaning and laundry and stuff like that so on the topic of youtube and youtube binge this is totally me right now i have been i've gone down the deep end <laughs> with this YouTube channel called Two Set Violin. Maybe you guys have heard of it. They're really popular right now and they're growing really quickly. So basically, they're these two classical musicians, professional violinists from Australia. And they basically make like classical music comedy videos. I'm normally not one for that type of video. Like if you look at their channel, they post a lot of kind of clickbaity, made to go viral kind of videos, but then I think it's one of those things where the more you watch, the more you kind of see who they really are because obviously like their comedic videos are meant to be funny and then you see some of the more serious or not really serious, but like non-comedic videos that they post and I'm like, oh, like I actually really like these guys. They're basically trying to make classical music more accessible which I think is really cool and I wish I had that type of inspiration when I was growing up because I have been classically trained in piano for what like 10 years when I was growing up so I don't get everything that they say obviously because they go like really in depth sometimes with the the music theory and the music terms, but I can relate on some level, which I think makes it more enjoyable. And basically what I'm trying to say is I am finding them fascinating. They are really prolific YouTubers. They post like three videos a week, which is a lot. And I love that obviously, because now we have like a huge backlog of stickers to, stickers? <laughs> a huge backlog of videos to go through. And I think that's what has contributed to their growth because it's nice to have you know, this presence here, I guess, on YouTube, especially during the pandemic. But as a YouTuber, watching them combined with filming the haul video that I just filmed really kind of re-inspired me to post more videos. And it reminded me of why I love making YouTube videos so much and why I started doing this in the first place because I've been thinking for the past couple months, I'm like, oh, you know, is it time for me to hang up the hat when it comes to YouTube? And I honestly thought like after after I get my next AdSense payment in and I donate that to the Black Lives Matter movement, I, I think I wanna stop. You know, I was debating that for a while. I was leaning towards yes because I was just feeling really exhausted. I didn't, I didn't know why. Ooh, you can hear the alcohol settling in. <laughs> Basically, I was like, oh yeah, maybe I should hang up the, the hat, but then it's weird. Sometimes you come across something or sometimes you meet, and not that I met them, but something or someone comes into your life at the right time or at an interesting time. By the way, every time I hear the word like interesting and amazing, I do like the interesting or amazing thing that they do. If you watch Tisa Violin, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I guess, what am I trying to say? Like seeing the community that they've built, which is something really incredible that I think that they've done is this global community that they've built for classical musicians or actually like anybody really that watches, that's a fan basically. Like I obviously don't consider myself a classical musician, but I do consider myself part of the community now because I watch their videos, I kind of get the jokes and so that's why I felt like kind of reinvigorated to make more videos and continue connecting with everybody that's here that's watching this. So thank you if you're here and watching my videos still after however many years it's been, five years and 
thank you for continuing to grow with me. You know what I'll do if you haven't heard of them? I'll, I'm gonna link like a playlist or maybe like my five videos that I love from them, like my favorite five videos so far that they've posted and I'll try to pick one from the many kinds of videos that they post. I'll have it linked down below so you can check them out and see what they're all about. And yeah, send them my love. Loki have the hots for bread, so watch out Sean Mendes. Just kidding. That's sacrilegious. I did not just say that. <laughs> oh, I think I should add more munchkins. All right, this is the last section. This is the emotion section. And basically this side is like positive, more positive emotions. And this side is more like negative emotions. And this is one of my favorite sections because I love having my planner reflect what I'm feeling. I remember last year how I was saying that I was using more happy and joyful stickers than I was sad stickers and how cool that was because for a long time, and I still struggle, by the way, I've been struggling with my mental health the past few months, especially this year, but it was really cool last year how I realized that I was using more happy stickers than sad and how that was a real turning point for me. But now obviously, probably for everyone, it's taken a turn for the worst. I, I can't imagine anybody who's completely mentally healthy at this time. <laughs> it is a really tough time. All right, I think that's it. I think I'm done with this topping up of my reusable sticker book. I hope you enjoyed this kind of chatty, casual video. I hope you're all taking extra good care. Let's just hold on to the little joys like all of these really cute stickers made by incredible artists in this community and this is exactly like seeing this and all these relationships and artwork and getting to put that in my planner getting to share that with you getting to connect with everybody in this community those are the little joys that we need to grasp onto to get through 2020 and just every day in in life this is what this is what it's all about. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you made it this far into the video. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.